Hello, my dear friends. How are you all doing? My name is Arti. And on behalf of Mind Seed Preschool and Daycare, I am the storyteller for today. And the story for today is called the Lara, the Yellow Ladybug. Yellow Ladybug? Have you ever seen a yellow color ladybug? I thought that ladybugs were only red in color. I wonder which garden does a yellow ladybug fly in? Yes, so Lara was a yellow color ladybug and she had a lot of friends. But all her friends were red in color. Even her mummy, daddy, they were all red in color. She was the only one yellow. Her brothers, sisters, everyone red. Of course, because ladybugs are supposed to be red, right? With black spots, isn't it? But Lara was yellow. I'm so fascinated by looking at her. She looks so lovely. When she went to school, everybody around her looked at her. They waved at her. The flying bird would say, Hi, pretty Lara. How are you doing? Then the butterfly would say, Hey, little ladybug, yellow, yellow, same paint. And then even the buzzing bees, which were yellow in color, would love talking to her. Hey, Lara, good morning. How are you doing today? Are you going to the school? Your teachers must be loving your yellow color, isn't it? Lara used to be so happy going to school. She had all the friends playing with her. All the red ones. They used to play hide and seek in the garden. They used to go up the branches and down the leaves. And they used to all the flowers. And the little ants used to pass by. And they used to play with each other, catching and running. Lara had a lovely time. But when she went back home, she used to tell her mother every day, Mama, Mama, I'm, I'm not red like others. I feel very sad, Mama. Mama... Why I didn't grow up to be a red color ladybug? Just to make her feel happy, one day, Lara's mama, she painted her yellow. All these wings that were yellow, she painted them into red. And she became a red color ladybug. Lara, the red color ladybug. The next day, she was very happy to go to school. She jumped and she bounced and she bounced and she held a school bag, singing the la 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 song. Lara went to a school. Nobody around looked at her. Not the bees, not even the butterflies, not even the birds. None of them looked at her. Went past to school. Nobody even played with her. Nobody even noticed that this is Lara, the yellow ladybug Lara. She couldn't even recognize her. She felt very sad and she started to cry in the school garden. And then a teacher came. 
Lara? asked Lara. What happened, Lara? Why are you so sad today? She still kept crying, crying and sobbing within herself and wondering that why her friends weren't talking to her. She thought she was looking so pretty, isn't it? The ladybug needs to be red and there, Mama had painted her all red. Then, Clara's teacher, she asked her, Dear Lara, why did you paint yourself red? You look so nice and yellow. You are so unique. Nobody's like you. You are so rare. You're so pretty. As good as all your friends who are red in color. Your yellow shines out like the sun and you look so good. Lara smiled and she went home. At home, she held herself into the tub and had a great bath. She scrubbed herself hard and cleaned her wings to make them yellow and shiny again. Now, Lara, the yellow ladybug, found herself to be so pretty in the mirror. She told herself, yes, I am unique. I am rare. I am beautiful. I am I. The next day, she went to school and as usual, all her friends, the butterfly, the bees, the birds and the little ants, they all played with her and had a great day ahead. Butterfly told Lara, you look so pretty in yellow. Stay the way you are. Lara, the yellow ladybug, was happy and she would never think of painting herself and changing herself. So that was the story of the little ladybug who was so unique and so different. And yet, everybody loved her. So my dear children, we all are different. We are tall, short. We speak in English. Some speak in Hindi. <coughs> and we play different things. We like different things. We come from different homes. We all are different. We all are unique. Dear parents, this is one of the mind seed philosophy. To love yourself. Every child is unique. So do remember that and stay happy. I'll say a goodbye to you now and I'll see you next week. Till then, keep reading. Remember... We all are unique. Goodbye.